Alright, we gotta put together a bank of 70 amp hours worth of Yinlongs. Excess power, uh, brand new cells. Two banks, so there's gonna be two 3.8 volt banks, 35 amp hours a piece, so 70 amp hour total. Got Wolfram bars, um, these were pretty cheap. 130 bucks. Uh, the end bars are tap for those uh, cells. And then center bars just have the holes for the balancers. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I'd say, what, quarter inch? That's what it looks like. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Yep, I got the positive in my hand here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a positive on the positive post. And that's about as tight as you wanna go with it. I sorted these out so it's highest the lowest. I'm gonna mix the lowest with the highest. So. They're all within um, 0.4 of each other, so they're pretty pretty dang close to begin with. Let's see. We didn't parallel balance just the two cells, and we did some controversial charging <laughs> over here. Yeah, 120 amps at a time. Cells were pretty happy with it though. And the nut. Uh, we're using Big D's nuts. I'm not even going to hit them with the wrench. Uh, you can hit them with the torque wrench at work tomorrow. 7 newton meters, that's what you want to torque them to. Alright, so, got our negative plate on. And we're going to put positive on here. So it's negative to a positive. Probably turn my the camera can actually see what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just gonna go finger tweak the nose. I'm putting balance screws on the outside so if you ever want to like link banks together you just need one balancer and you unbalance screws between your banks or uh, jumper wires between the balance screws.
So we come down to an even. So how's it going in again? Does that show up on me? Yes. Awesome. So you got your first bank, 2.25, and then you go to the second, 4.52, and 6.7 there. have to kind of like turn your cells when you're ready to torque them if you want the label out or whatever they're getting the wood box anyway oh yeah that's right I forgot you said you're putting in the wood box remember balance screws on the outside that's the way you're doing it which most people do I'll probably set the balancer on before I put the foster on it. Yeah, if you want me to hook your balancer up too, I can. I just need your nail set screws on here. They're probably M5s or M6s. Um, I think they're an M6. I'm almost um, certain they're an M6. I got M6s sitting around here. M6 or M5. M5. Nope, not, not a machine screw. That's M6, I think. Okay. Somewhere around here I have actual uh, M6 screws from Headways. Oh, oh, we can compare. So, another positive in. They're all going to get balanced out anyway, so... Who's blowing you up? That's my fucking voicemails. Oh, yeah, we don't have good reception down in my basement, so... No, it's probably random ones where it just pops back up. Yep. No, I'll do it like every... Oh, man. <laughs> it's horrible. These bars aren't too bad. Spacing looks alright. I mean, for the price, they ain't, they ain't bad. I guess Old Customs is gonna probably be doing a budget option also. Thirty-five dollars. I already have them. What? Thirty-five dollars. What do you mean? The economy bars. Thirty-five bucks. Uh, I have a set of them. Oh really? Yes, brand new, sitting at home in a package still. Huh. Why, you want them? They're for two banks. So there's enough in there for to make two banks. Why, what do they look like? Uh, pretty much uh, screw down. They'll look like these flat things like this. And then they won't have like this. It's just to oh, be a plate it's... that comes out and then you can screw your just wires to. Just a flat too. plate? Mm-hmm. Oh, ain't bad. 35 bucks. That's what they cost me. Nice. 
Is that what they cost from old customs though? Mm -hmm. 35 bucks? That's what I bought them from. Yeah. Not too shabby. Well, if you want a cheap option, there you go. I look, I really like Il Cousin's nice bars, though. Man, yeah, but those are $200. Them, oh. They're $200 for I that. I know, but they're so nice. Yeah, well, it's $200, it's $200 for two banks, and I couldn't afford $200. This is $130 yeah. for the same thing. It's same a good thing. middle ground. I, I think that's actually what he's talking about doing, is something like in the middle. Not his really nice bars, but like... Something in between. Oh, I, I can't really complain for the, what these look like. Oh yeah, these are not bad. And I, I always like this screw down style turbo. Yeah. Because it, my double out runs all have a reducer to one out on them, so they'll go right in and not fight with me. Cells are from down uh, um, dropping hurt. So. Bars are from Wolfram. Wolf, no, they're from Ill Customs website, but they're sold by Wolfram. Really? Mm hmm. I got them from Ill Customs. Hmm. Cool. I went looking, and that was the cheapest set of screw down style end bars. A set of bolt on. Yep. Because I don't like doing lags for lugs, or whatever you want to call them. Lug bars, or lugs on wires. Yeah. I don't like to, oh. cr I don't like to crimp. Yeah, I, I don't do lugs at all anymore. Like, I just buy bolt downs for everything. It's simple. And, and or, it's not, it's or not. Or amp inputs, or something. I, I fucking hate turning those. Like, it, that's so yeah. old school. I'm going to do dual eight, um, dual eight gauge into my four channel, too. Because I have two wires going to e into each channel. Oh, Brad, stop. You right. got to screw those on first to that, that end bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dun. Good call. Yeah, that'd be funny. Negative bar. I would have figured it out in about 30 seconds. <laughs> And you don't want to like whip these cells on either because you can get them spinning on like on there fast enough that like you could over torque them. <laughs> Snap the studs off. That's like one of the biggest worries with these cells is snapping the studs or the cells rubbing together. Which any cells rub together, it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's a no no. Any way you look at it. Beautiful. That didn't take too long. Bench at work. I mean, like, you're gonna put the torque wrench on them and they're gonna be pretty close. So. Bam! Bank. Kind of curious what that took me. 14 minutes. <laughs> Not bad. Thirteen six 
Still with the torque wrench at work, don't even. Yeah, that's, that's, it, it's literally, that's right. Like, you, you're gonna hit him with the torque wrench and you're gonna be like, damn. Yeah. Like, finger tight, it's pretty, pretty dang close to what they need to be. That's why it works great using aluminum bars with these instead of copper because you don't have to worry about oxidization and galvanic corrosion and all that other bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. And that's about how they usually are. They're not, you know, solid. Well, they will be when they get their box. Right. You put them in a box. That's that. Uh, like a lot of the guys, and or quite a few of the guys I've seen do it in, a, in Russia, they, they do like a cell holder on a MDF or something like that, or you know, like they'll do like a row here and a row here to keep the cells all straight. Hmm. Cool. But they usually have a bigger gap in between the nuts. If safety is number one, then yeah. Yeah, they can't stay like this. Move around way too much. Yeah. Like, even myself, I'd probably take like a sheet of x ray paper between them. It would take forever to rub through that. Like, you would you'd pull, pull x ray paper out and be like, oh shit, it's rubbing through it, you know? All right. There you go. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Mm, 25, maybe 30 pounds. Yeah, in that range. Not bad. Better than Curb 31's. <laughs> so that's a 70 amp hour in long bank um, that's a 60 amp hour Toshiba skip bank both are fantastic options thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe and all that other stuff